Hi, this is Di, and uh, it's a blizzard. <laughs> Terry's driving me to work. I, I am an essential service, so until they close our site, I have to go in, so they've never closed our site, though, and I've worked there for 12 years, so, you know. But this is awesome. I think it's terrible. You like it. <laughs> That's a smile. You can't see him because he's backlit. Hopefully all the stupid people have been cleared out by now. It's just me and the nurses, right? This, this happened overnight, basically. And so I joke about my job being an essential service because I work in administration, but I work in administration for a large, large nonprofit and lots of people have to work today. So in administration, we're supposed to work too so that they can contact us if they need anything. For example, today I was supposed to have a class and um, I canceled it because all the school districts are closed. Um, in Seattle, we close for snow because we don't have the equipment to clear the roads and we have lots and lots of hills. And it happens maybe two days a year. <laughs> Slow down. Take it easy. Four wheel drive does not break. We had not had any snow this year. I thought we got out of it. So they sanded this road. There's the Puget Sound. Isn't it beautiful? was there two people in IT two people in our children's program and that was the whole campus there was no one in my building so I forwarded the phones to the cell work cell picked it up got the charger and we're headed back home thanks for the ride Jerry there's someone stuck and Jerry's going to help which is really sweet I don't think they're stuck. I think they've psyched themselves out. They must actually be stuck. Oh yeah, he's pushing hard. Oh no, they're sliding. This is not front wheel drive weather. This is all wheel drive weather. Does four wheel drive matter? Yes. <laughs> four wheel drive matters. <laughs> That car couldn't go. He just helped them get off to the side of the road so they weren't in the middle of the street because it's not going to happen. It was a two wheel drive like mine, but I think it was a four banger. I have a V8. Totally forgot to tell you about my fall last night. Jerry and I, we, I had a really bad night's sleep. We had to go to a memorial service. So I thought I would take a little nap at like five o'clock. Well, I woke up at nine p.m., which is a weird time to wake up. So I woke up at 9 p.m. and was like, oh, I gotta go to the restroom. So I didn't turn the light on, I didn't want to wake Jerry up. And I went to go to the restroom and I forgot I had left a space heater out in the middle of the room. I was using it as a doorstop. Totally forgot about the space heater. Fell over it, got my knee, my leg, my arm, and my hand both all smashed. I went, fell into an office chair. I will insert some pictures. Good morning. It is day three of Snowpocalypse 2019. I don't know. We're just not used to this. I had a headache yesterday, so I stayed home with my headache. Ah, but, ah. Uh, well, they plowed this at least. Plowed and sanded. Plowed and sanded. I'll make it into work, and then I have, what is it, a strange turn of events. I'm going to the doctor. Huh. The sun is in a weird place. <laughs> so we are headed in for a doctor's appointment and Seattle has no snow, almost nothing. And that's it, nothing. There sure is a big difference between where I live and downtown, let me tell ya.
Okay, it's recording. Hi. Hey. So this is the doctor I'm seeing who does acupuncture. I never thought I'd do it, but the headaches were bad enough. I'll try anything. Look at you, needles sticking out of your head. And my hands. And your hands. And my feet, which are and coming underneath the. Not on your feet. Or my ankles. They're on your ankles. Toenails are painted. Not very well. Yeah. No. And what then else? you see this, I'm under this heat thing. Mm -hmm. Like you're keeping a hamburger warm at a fast food restaurant. Yep. <laughs> How's no, it feel? It feels fine as long as I don't smile too hard. You, you can't really feel it. That's good. Yep. It looks weird. Once it's set, you don't really feel anything. Mm. I don't feel anything anyway. I feel nothing. I feel nothing. I am dead. <laughs> All right, now I get to relax for 20 minutes. And we're out, and the doctor put things in my ear. I don't know if you can see them. There's little things in my ear. There's one in the other ear, too. They're little dots. And he says they'll fall out in like five days. I can pick them out after seven. I was excited. I was like, yes, I want the weird thing. Give me the thing. Anything that is like oddly medical, I do like. I was excited, right? I was. <laughs> I was like, yes. That surprised him. <laughs> I don't think that's ex what he expected. Your enthusiasm. My enthusiasm was unexpected, right? Mm -hmm. Like, have I mentioned that I will try anything to get rid of these headaches at this point? I really don't care what it is, so. <laughs> A little thingy stuck in my ear for a few days. Great. Got any other ideas? Surprise me. And then I fell on the ice. Tell them. She fell on the ice? No, I thought he was going to mention how it isn't his fault because it isn't. He told me to step here and I stepped there and met, uh, no, bled. I, and... I parked so that she had, you know, some traction, snow. And she thought the snow was slick, so let's step on the sheet of ice next to it that I avoided on purpose. I thought it was plain pavement. I was wrong. So now we're at the Happened walking so fast, clinic. Really fast. It did happen really fast. Right. I didn't have time. I started it, then I just went on. Uh, <laughs> late. This lighting's terrible, and I've got these things on my face for five days. Five days. You gave me a tone, tone of shame. It is a human cone of shame. It was so stupid and it was totally my fault. And yet, it's still this. I have an important meeting from 12 to 3. Well, I'll take you serious. You look like you're a fighter. I don't kick your <laughs> Don't make me. snow. Everybody was walking and being cute in the snow. You're not really in the cute. snow. You want to be in the snow? No, not smash down oh, in the snow. No. We, I, maybe we'd be cuter in the sun. We're kind of in the shadow. Like, see the sled? I don't, I don't know that putting us in more lights can make this cute. <laughs> well, it's not going to do anything for my bruise. <laughs> I didn't do my hair today because why? Here we go. Oh. Now look, 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 look. look. Now we're cute. Hey, what about this way? What about, you're so tall. Nope. I wonder if I kiss you on the cheek and you come that way. Is that cute? I don't know, you'll have you to look at it later. Cheek? Kiss your cheek. I love you. Look at the mountain though. It's beautiful, it's nice and clear. Isn't that pretty? <laughs>
get it. How you doing, Jerry? Great. I have a doctor's appointment to see my, oh, I'm not focusing, there we go. I have a doctor's appointment to see my therapist tomorrow, but it's the same time as Jerry's appointment. So I changed it to today, and then his appointment canceled. Anyway, so that means we're driving out of, out of the county, I think. We're leaving the county to um, go to the appointment. So this is what the freeway looks like. I told Jessica Hatch that if we get much more weather like this, I'm going to have to get a Husky and a Jeep. It's day eight, and it's a snow day. supposed to start raining and wash it away and that is not happening. I don't know if anybody said anything about washing it. Well, it's supposed to help. Yeah, it should. This is not helping. This is actually just more snow. This construction project they started. And I can't carry where I'm far on this construction. Just had to stop. See, here we get snow for like two days. For eight. Do you think all those people that waited 45 minutes to get groceries all feel justified now? The ones that don't have cars that they can't get out of their driveway? I suppose, uh, I suppose if you're the, that person, that was a good thing to do. Yeah. T time well invested. Probably get some pictures of what people did to the grocery store and insert them here. appointment we went to Starbucks and they were closing at 5 because you know they had to get there early in the morning and do all this 
their essential services and uh, we drove past it's really deep. We drove past Caleb's work and they had closed too. This is the first day where I've been afraid of being stuck in the truck. Yeah, it's a real thing. <laughs> She's just using her arms. Not using tools. It's so much snow and it's wet now, so it's heavy.